I used to always say comedy saved my life because, like, <laughs> I, I would always think about what I was going to do with the rest of my life. And uh, comedy was never a part of it. Like, I never thought about being a comedian. That wasn't, you know, that wasn't even a part of my reality. I grew up in the Virgin Islands, like I said. My first actual, actual dream was I wanted to raise fighting chickens. That was my... <laughs> That was my first dream. Don't laugh at me with your first world fucking attitude. And your boyfriend, how I come from? You can make a hell of a living being a cockfighter. I wanted to be the cockfighting champion, and don't judge me. Don't you fucking, do you eat chicken? Do you eat chicken? Then don't fucking judge me. People always judge It's your brother. Well, letting him fight, but you eat him. I wanted to raise, that's a legitimate dream where I'm from. I wanted to raise fighting chickens. Cause they were, you know, I was always one of those dudes, like I couldn't work for anybody. And those were the hustlers when I was growing up. And I was like, I want to be like that. You know? Tell me more. Yeah, I, I, I went and I picked a lot of fruit. Cause what we used to do is pick fruit and sell it in the market. Or we would catch fish and sell it in the market. And I did all of that to raise funds to buy my first chicken. And I bought a beautiful Amarillo. That's how you claim it. That's how you, uh, that's how you, rec uh, I don't know how you say it. That's how you describe the thing. It looks like it's covered in sp That is, forget it. Which is Amarillo, right? So uh, I bought my first beautiful Amarillo and I used to go out there and train them, train them every day. It's quite a cruel design. See, that would be cruelty to animals if I just threw them in the pit, it was like, fight, nigga. <laughs> I got them prepared for that shit. I would go out there and train them every day. Every day I would go out there. I had drills I used to run them through. <laughs> Y'all think it's a game. I was dead fucking serious, man. <laughs> I was a ball. Back recently, there's a sign as you drive in. I would be every day like Rocky, like the track. Come on, chicken. <laughs> every fucking day I would run him. I would get him his cardio up so I'd make sure he could fight longer. I would get his quickness up. I would do strength and agility training. <laughs> And every day I would get out there and hit him with some new shit and he would always succeed. Man, my chicken was fucking, that motherfucker was good. Every day he would do a little bit more, a little bit more. One day I had this, this drill that I tried to run him through and he could never succeed. And one day he hit it and I was like, yeah, oh shit, we ready. And that's when I knew we were ready. We were ready to go fight. And I picked him up and I was like, yeah, he was feeling good. His leg was thick. He was, he was right. And I fucking ate him. <laughs> I, I learned a very valuable lesson about myself, y'all. I can't be around chicken recreationally. I am a true to form Negro. I ate that motherfucker. So there was a happy ending. You don't have to write a Yelp review. I ended up eating that motherfucker. His leg was just so thick, though. I was like, God damn, imagine if I stewed him. And he was delicious. You are here. Chicken, train it before you eat it.